picked pretty much the worst possible weather you could probably fish in a kayak just super super windy uh, making for a real rough and wet and slow trek to our first spot um, but you know the end of striper season is looming and you know you got to take advantage of any day you have off from work so unfortunately today our day off from work we are in probably the worst conditions but we'll suck it up and fight through it so stay tuned all right so got through the slosh of it uh had to change our game plan we were gonna fish some deep holes in like open areas but with this wind man ain't no chance so right now I'm trying to get in this little creek and get tucked away from the wind but this is just kind of crazy weather to be honest with you they didn't forecast it to be this bad as it, it is right now but we, we got through the thick of it man all right man let's get a live spot on this weather is just absolutely putrid man i didn't think it was going to be this bad i know they called for some wind but they weren't saying it was supposed to be as high as it is right now man and after that journey out here three or four times man i just <clears throat> decided should i even keep going or should i just try and turn around and to be honest with you why i didn't turn around you know other than being a nut is where um where i was there wasn't really a great area to turn without worrying about capsizing because you know when you're stuck in the thick of it like that you, the wind's coming at you you got to make that turn so quick and my fear at the at the moment was if i try and turn you know i might get in the middle of a wee or broadsided and end up flipping the kayak and you know that's less than ideal in in this end of december you know when the water's barely above freezing right now and air temperatures below freezing man i'll tell you what hopefully they're biting today because it, it'd be a very long day today with this steady wind oh there we go ah oh, dropped them oh he came back for it he came back for it let's go that's the kind of the beauty of fishing live bait man oh man is you drop your line back down they're usually going to come back for it if they haven't robbed you not a bad start i'll tell you what in this weather i'll take anything today Woo. there we go oh man we lost our spot all right that ain't a bad start to the day, especially with how bad the weather is. There he goes. I mean, it is just nasty out here today. All right, so we got a live spot. We're just gonna drop them straight down. Wind's coming at us, tide's coming this way. So we're kind of less than ideal drifting conditions. So what I'm gonna try and do is keep the nose of the kayak into the wind to kind of guide the drift and hope that we can find some type of drift. As you can tell, our depth finder's not working today, so it just adds to the, you know, unfortunate things of today. something or that was something there we go oh man i can't even feel my hand so i half the time i don't even know i didn't even feel that until just i'm looking at the rod bent Bad one. 
and set them to make life a little bit easier on me. That's like a little, <clears throat> man, that is a fat striper. Holy smokes. Look at that guy. He is not very long, man. He, he got something in his stomach. Man, I'll tell you what, this bass, oh man, I can't feel my hands. This bass literally has been gorging on something. Look at that. His freaking stomach's loaded, packed. You wonder what he was eating. Oh man, look at that. <clears throat> he was ready to go. My guess is uh, bunker, man. I've seen a lot of adult bunker around. All right, so I'm going to take ooh, this guy looks good. a live spot. All I'm going to be doing hooking them through the nose, in the mouth, and through the nose, and then pretty much just drifting him over little spots that I think might be pulling some fish using a half ounce sinker right now there's there is a decent amount of current but you know with the weight of the spot um, that's just enough weight to get you down to where you need to be um, I'm a firm believer of fishing the lightest possible you know weight you can get away with um, if the current seems to be picking up and getting worse just uh i have a three quarter ounce and an ounce and an ounce and a half but any more than that on on like a medium sized rod i don't like putting the strain on the rod as well as if you've ever fought a fish with a lot of weight like a if you're fishing a lot of weight and it, the, the bite doesn't you know feel the same and it feels like you're fighting the weight all right let's uh get a fresh spot down holy smokes this would be a great time to invest in gloves it's not like my hands were fine honestly the whole ride out here it's once you start getting them wet man they are like donezo that last bead I dropped down I didn't even I, I couldn't even feel that he actually bit I just looking at the rod tip and seeing that it was like keeled over which man the things you do for fish this is probably top three dumbest you know decisions i've made in a while to come out today i mean the fish are biting which is nice and that, there's a fish right there but oh boy this wind really makes things so tough especially from a kayak A lot of cookie cutters today man I might <clears throat> I might switch over oh, hold them right there that's easy enough I might switch over to uh, jigs in a minute just hooked into something with the blade 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 bait holy moly my lips are like frozen ha huh, striper and he spit it 